welcome back to another video. We are doing a Chipotle video. You know me, I always gotta get the Chipotle ball. First of all, I had to do some substitutions. They did not have any white rice, so I did brown rice, which is fine. But let's look at the bowl. I got brown rice. I'm trying the, well, not so new, chicken al pasor. If you guys have tried it, let me know if you like it. Um, it looked flavorful. It looked more flavorful than the chicken. To me, the chicken is really dry. So hopefully this is has a lot more seasonings and stuff. Um, I also got pinto beans, corn salsa, hot salsa, mild salsa, and some guac. And then I got a bag of chips. So. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Per usual. All right. Let's go ahead and taste this. Amen. And of course I got some H2O. It was packed there today. It is the weekend that I'm filming this. So everybody and their mama was there. What do you guys normally get on your Chipotle order? I just recently got the Chipotle app too. So hopefully I'll get some rewards soon since I'm there all the time. Mmm. Oh, it's a little sweet. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the... I hope they keep this for a while. I hope it's not just like a... Like, seasonal thing, you know? Speaking of seasonal things, Taco Bell has their new fries I figured we'd do something a little bit different and talk about some current events because I love all things pop culture and did you guys hear about Jamie Foxx and how he is well, I, at, most recently I heard he's out of the hospital, which is good, but I heard he was in the hospital. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was a stroke or something heart related. I'm glad he's doing better and I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. I'm gonna bring this up a little. I had some technical difficulties, but we're back. But what I was saying is, um, yeah, Jamie Foxx, hopefully he's doing a lot better. I I love Jamie Foxx. Honestly, anything he touches is gold, right? Honestly, I can't tell the difference between the white or the brown rice, so. I like this chicken. I usually get the barbacoa. Who out there loves the barbacoa? But the chicken is actually cheaper, so. And I usually get the the queso cheese, but it wasn't really looking too hot, so. I figured I'd skip out on that also. Also, there's a lot of graduates coming up. So congratulations to all the graduates. My brother's actually graduating. I get to see him in a week. Yeah, it'll be probably like a week by the time I upload this. I just saw that Sasha Obama just graduated from USC. That makes me feel so old.
Good for her though. I'm so happy that they got their education. Just great representation of black women, you know? Obviously they were given a lot of opportunities, but they are not taking that for granted, which is really good to see. Hmm. You guys, if you like the chicken, I would definitely suggest trying the al pastor chicken. I'm not sure if it's more expensive than regular chicken. Hopefully not though, but. Also, what do you guys like watching like mukbang wise? I feel like I go to the same like three restaurants because I love them. I love Wingstop. I love Chipotle. I really want to watch that new show. Well, it's not, it's, I think it's like a continuation or something. C correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't watched any of it, but that Queen Charlotte show, it's on Netflix. And uh, it's supposed to be, I guess, following the story of Charlotte, how she became Queen Charlotte. I've been seeing all like the edits and stuff on TikTok. And it's making me want to watch the show. I wasn't a fan of the original Bridgerton. My sister loved that show though. And like, do you need to watch that show in order to understand the Queen Charlotte show? Let me know. Cause I kinda wanna just start that one. I feel like this chicken should just be the standard of what the chicken tastes like. I haven't had the chicken in a while, but like the regular chicken that I had, the last time I had it, it was really dry. This one's not dry. I forgot to tell you guys, I'm going to see Usher in Vegas with my mom. I'm so excited. I've been an Usher fan for a hot minute, since the 90s. I really wanna see Beyonce though. Have you guys been seeing all of her shows overseas right now? She looks amazing too, like, she just does not age. Ooh, I think I got a spot that had all of the red salsa. The person in front of me got extra red salsa. The guy that was taking his order, he was like, oh, you like it spicy, huh? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. He was a little light for me, which thankful for that. I 
Okay, I'm gonna switch off between the Apostor chicken and the barbacoa because this is actually really good. I haven't had Chipotle since they came out with the the new chicken, so I feel like I'm like really late to the party, but I'm really glad that they still have it. Does anyone have any exciting plans for summer? I literally already planned my days off. And my grandma's coming in town. area I'm at spicy oh my goodness I might have to start getting that on the side Also, I've been like going to the movies a lot more recently. I love Pete Wanna See the Little Mermaid. Have you guys seen it? Has it is it out yet? I saw that they had a premiere for it, but this is the time I wish I had a kid, a daughter. Cause I'm seeing like all the kids like dress up in their little mermaid outfits. It's so cute. And if you guys haven't seen my weight loss update video, I'm in a size 18 now. So when I started back losing weight, I think like October now, I was in like a size 24, 26. And my goal was to be able to fit back into my size 18s because that's the size I've been for majority of my like, I guess, college high school young adult life so i feel like getting back to a size 18 i would feel normal and i do so i'm really happy i know you it's crazy that most people that watch my videos that just watch my mukbangs they don't realize that i'm on a weight loss journey 
And I get crazy comments like, you need to eat better. Normally when I do my mukbangs, that's the only meal I have for the day. Because generally fast food is between 1,000 and 2,000 calories. And I have it to where I can eat 17 to 1800 calories a day. It still amazes people. How can you eat food that you like and still lose weight? But then you got to realize some people are just at different levels of what's the word smartness. <laughs> So this is my one meal for the day. And if I get hungry, I have a piece of fruit. I have oranges in the fridge right now. Oh my gosh, this is so spicy though. I'm done. I have this much left. I'll probably eat it for a snack in like an hour or two. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video and want me to make more, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment too so I know. Comment how your day is going. Comment me anything. I'll, I will respond back to you guys. And if you like watching other videos like what I eat in a days or what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, I have those on my channel as well. They'll be linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.